be savage, you guys. <laughs> Who would like to open us in prayer? Yeah, Marie. Don't let any sins go in your heart. Don't let any sins go in your heart. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Do you guys know the story of Elijah? Yeah. yeah? Do you guys remember what God sent to him when he was at yeah. the brook Jared to feed him? Yeah. What did he send? He the, the Yeah, the birds, right? The ravens. What did you say? Ravens. Ravens, yeah. Good job. So today's story, yeah, yeah. Today's story is about Mr. Johannes Brenz, and he had a similar experience like Elijah. And Mr. Brenz was from Württemberg, Germany, and he lived a little closer to our time than Elijah did. So, of the many persecutions that Mr. Brenz had to suffer from the emperor due to his steadfastness in his faith, the most perilous one that occurred was in the time that he was a guest of Duke Ulrich at Stuttgart. The emperor had learned of the location of Mr. Brenz and had commanded a colonel to bring Brenz to him, either dead or alive. The duke, who was being made aware of this, warned his guest, Mr. Brenz, and let him go with the encouragement, if God is pleased with you, he will deliver you. Mr. Brenz, who already anticipated the danger, had sent his four children to his friends. In the seclusion of his room, he fell on his knees and prayed to God for guidance and help. And he seemed to hear a voice saying, take a loaf of bread and go up through the Birkenwald, which was the northern part of the city. And where you find an open front door, go in and hide yourself under the roof. And so Mr. Benz did. All the doors in this part of the city were closed until he reached the land house. Here the door stood open. He entered without being seen by anyone. Under the roof was a large pile of wood behind which he hid himself. The next day, the imperial Spanish officer with his Spanish soldiers, soldiers arrived in Stuttgart. Soldiers were, were at once stationed at all city gates, even at the exit of the Duke's palace. They searched every house in the city, and finally the soldiers came to the land house. There, that's where Mr. Benz was hiding. Mr. Benz heard the clashing of weapons and heard their loud talking and cursing as they went from room to room. Then they came to his hiding place under the roof and they thrust their spears through the woodpile, the woodpile which Mr. Benz was hiding behind. But they did not find nor hurt him and two weeks later they left Stuttgart. Now they're gone and praise the Lord they have not found him. Thus Mr. Benz heard the people talk on the street below. But how was Mr. Brenz able to sustain his life during that long time? Well, on the first day of his hiding, towards noon, about 11 o'clock, came a hen, and she laid an egg behind the woodpile where he was. And this she did every day until the end of his stay there. This egg served to quench his thirst while the loaf of bread satisfied his hunger. The hen stopped coming on the same day the soldiers departed the city. So, as you guys can see, Elijah and Mr. Brenz had a, a similar experience, right? But what else did they have in common, you think, that's even more important? Can you think of something? No? Well, they were both obedient to God, right? Now, God gives us a secret to long life in the fifth commandment. Do you guys know what that is? No, the secret to long life is to also obey your parents, right? So I would like you to remember to, re to obey God and to obey your parents, okay? Who would like to close us in prayer? No one? Chloe? Why are you the name we play that's can you help us not to forget to say thank you, Nan? Amen.